Imagine a border wall keeping New Mexicans out of Colorado. It was an idea back in the 30s, and News 13 So Young Kim is here with details of an old plan that is getting some new attention. Dean, with all the election talk of a border wall, a historian is reminding people that at one time there were people who considered New Mexico as south of the border. Daryl Campbell knows what it feels like when a wall separates borders and people. What it felt like going through Checkpoint Charlie, which was in Berlin before the wall went down. While visiting a museum, he says the wall made him feel unwelcome and restricted. A feeling like, well, we probably shouldn't go there. Border security has been a hot topic this election year with Donald Trump's controversial proposal for a wall along the Mexican border. But the idea of building a wall isn't a completely new one here in the United States. According to a Colorado historian, during the Great Depression in the 1930s, the governor of Colorado also proposed a wall, not with Mexico, but with New Mexico, to keep illegal immigrants and the poor from coming up from New Mexico and stealing jobs from Coloradans. People were surprised to learn about this part of history. That is unbelievable. It's the first time I hear of that. It kind of shows that the history of bigotry that we've seen in our country is still prevalent. The Colorado governor's push didn't go far in the 1930s. And clearly, no wall was ever put in place. People say had it gone up, America would never have been the same. It's not the United States if, if that were the case. When the New Mexico government caught wind of this plan, they threatened to block imports from Colorado, which upset many of the farmers in Colorado. Dean, back to you. All right, so young, thank you. The Colorado governor's campaign only lasted a few days.